Hey guys, anyone else devastated that summer has come to an end? I love fall, but I am totally sad that summer um, is ending and uh, I'm outside uh, on my back deck right now and I have, I've kept my um, tropical hibiscus. I have four different plants. Uh, they've been outside for most of the summer and now I've got to kind of organize myself and bring them indoors. So this one is actually um, in bloom um, at the moment and I'm not going to be doing much with this one um, until um, the blooms are gone. But that leaves um, these other three. Uh, this one is about to bloom but I'm going to uh, repot them anyway. So um, I have some of these IKEA pots left over and I went ahead and drilled a ton of to a ton of holes in the bottom um, and then I just kind of have some of my um, potting mix stuff uh, so that I can put these guys in uh, new containers uh, before I bring them indoors. For what it's worth, my Norfolk pine has done really, really well um, outdoors this summer as well, and it has doubled, um, if not tripled, in size. Uh, there it is there. I'm really uh, happy with how um, that plant's doing, and this one will also have to come inside, but I have to kind of figure out what I'm gonna be doing with it um, before that happens but I really just want to focus on my tropical hibiscus, at least three of the four plants uh, for the time being. So this isn't the most ideal time uh, to be repotting these. Um, that being said, usually after the summer and at the beginning of fall is, you know, one of the better times to repot um, hibiscus, but I totally get that, you know, um, it's probably not the best idea to be repotting them while they're still in bloom, or at least this one that has uh, a couple of buds on it, but um, I really just want to get these guys, these pots are super uh, dirty, and I just want to, you know, give the roots a little bit more space, and I'm just going to be repotting them because I want to do that before bringing them indoors. Um, so some of the mix, uh, or the, some of the different components of the soil mix that I have here with me now, um, I'll show you. So this is, uh, basically an indoor houseplant potting mix that I get from, um, one of my local nurseries and it's got a little bit of everything in here and I like to use a little bit of this with my, um, hibiscus so I don't know if you can see but there's this kind of looks a little bit more like a traditional soil but it does have some bark and a whole bunch of stuff in there um, maybe I can um, list off uh, what the bag has on in terms of ingredients uh, in the description so I'll be using um, that with some of this uh, which is um, peat moss some leca balls some perlite and uh, coco coir um, and I plan on using basically uh, like a one to one to one etc ratio of all of these things um, and I probably just use the LECA balls to put at the base of the container uh, just to even ameliorate or help with um, drainage uh, but I did like I said put a whole bunch what is that like six or seven holes at the bottom of this the cool thing about these um, inexpensive IKEA pots is that because of the material you can really easily drill into them so if you want to put you know you can basically drill as many um, holes in them as as you want which is awesome 
Now, one of the reasons that I do want to repot these is, like I said, they've been living um, and existing outdoors on my back deck uh, for most, if not the entire summer. Um, and because of that, they're, you know, the plants are sort of teeming with uh, little spiders and a whole bunch of you know, insects and bugs and all of that. And as much as I love life and these little crit critters, um, I really am not a fan of bringing them indoors. Um, only because, for starters, that can impact all of my other plants, which is not cool. And, you know, it just makes sense to um, treat uh, these plants before I bring them indoors, basically. And I just want to share with you guys what I'm going to be using. So, um, this first product, I don't know if you can see it. I have about like a third of that left. Um, this is a product that you can put in um, the soil mix and mix uh, about, and then that will kind of help prevent um, any sort of uh, bugs or insects for, I think there's like, you know, a certain period of time, a certain amount of weeks that um, this will remain active for. Um, I'm not exactly sure. Um, I think it's like, I don't know, I'll have to read and uh, post that maybe in the description down below. Um, and then the other product that I use um, is, um, a botanical insecticide. Um, now this is really to treat, uh, like I only use a product like this when I'm, when I see bugs on plants and I don't want them there and I want to treat them, um, you know, immediately as opposed to something like neem oil, which is more preventative. Um, so, um, these two products I'm hoping will save me from any sort of weird, um, you know, mealybug or spider mite, um, infestation when I am repotting these and bringing them indoors. I don't know why my voice is getting so raspy right now. Um, I wasn't out drinking or anything last night, but, uh, excuse me. And actually, I'm not sure if you noticed, but this one is actually in a newer pot already, and that is because um, we had Hurricane um, Henri and Hurricane Ida come through, and a couple of my plants, um, thank God nothing serious happened, and we definitely didn't get any crazy flooding or um, anything serious whatsoever, and you know, my heart goes out to anyone who's been impacted by this for sure. Um, that being said, I did have a couple of plants that got blown around and because of that I just kind of threw this one in um, this newer pot so again this is another reason why I want to get these guys uh, potted up in uh, some new pots um, so let me go ahead and start mixing all of this stuff up and uh, get these guys in their new home. So I'm just gonna start with my empty pot and I'm gonna put um, some of the uh, Lekka balls in the the base of the pot. Um, just gonna help add extra drainage. Um, and because these aren't terracotta pots, it's not the worst idea to get some good sort of drainage um, at the bottom of these pots, in addition to all of those holes that I drilled in. And basically, sorry, beyond that, I'm going to be adding just basically a scoop of each um, because these pots are you know, I don't know, they are slightly bigger than uh, the pots that they're coming from, but you know, I would say not more than at least an inch um, in diameter. So I'm just gonna get a scoop of each and then uh, try to mix this up. Probably be easier to do this in a bowl, but wheel. All right, so I've got a little bit of everything in here. Give it a little stir. All right. All right, let's see if I can show you guys. So, nothing crazy in there. Oh, losing some. All right, and now, all right, so let's start with this one. It's kind of stuck in there. Give it a good tip. All right, oh, perfect, wow. All right, so really nice roots. Um, actually, definitely time for a repot. 
I'm not sure if you guys, how well you guys can see that, but uh, yeah, I think this will definitely be happier in uh, its new home. And if you can see, if you see all this stuff that's growing in it, I'm just gonna get rid of all of that. Um, I'll just give it a little bit of a rub to loosen the roots above the pot. Oh yeah, I have to add, I almost forgot to add some of that product to the soil mix. So I'm going to do that next. Kind of rub the top part of the top soil as well, just to get rid of any of those weird little um, weedy, whatever those weeds are. Weeds growing in there. And all right, yeah, wow, I'm surprised. It's like a really good root system on this plant. Um, alright, so it's kind of what it's looking like now, and let me add some of that product first. So, yeah, this one, dry measure, so there is like a way to measure the amount of product you're putting in this. Um, the above charts are generally liquid and dry measuring information only. Dry measure. Anyways, I'm just gonna go get a measuring, like a teaspoon, um, and just take a closer look at the back directions to make sure I'm adding the correct quantity of this. Be right back. All right, so I found um, the little section on the back that I was looking for, uh, and just FYI, it says if you do um, use any sort of kitchen utensil with this product that you obviously would not be able to use that for food product um, or consu human consumption afterwards. So, um, but here it says if you have like a six inch pot, which I think this is, um, you wanna go ahead and put about two and a half tablespoons in, so I put I would say maybe one and a half, so I'm just gonna go ahead and sprinkle um, some more. I cook a lot and bake a lot, so I have a fairly good idea of what a tablespoon um, looks like, although this is obviously not an exact science. Um, and just kind of mix that in. And then I'm gonna get this guy, just taking a quick look at it. So I think I put a little bit too much at the bottom. All right, there we go. Just kind of add some more um, around the top. This one hasn't bloomed in a while. Ooh. All right, so I've gotten this guy filled up um, with enough of the soil mix. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just sprinkle a little bit more of this on the topsoil. Um, again, just to help deal with any sort of, if there's any pests um, in this. I'm just kinda, if you can see. But just kinda mix it in a bit with my finger. Probably should be wearing gloves. But, oh well wash my hands thoroughly after this and I've just noticed there's like weird stuff under one of the leaves I don't know if you can see that but I think I might spray some of my insecticide on a paper towel and just go ahead and kind of be really diligent and maybe wipe uh, both sides of the leaves and then just give it a spray and maybe repeat that actually over a couple of days um, Probably should do that for about a week actually um, If not a little bit longer just to really ensure that it's uh, pest free so I've done this for one and I'm gonna go grab the paper towel now and then um, Just got to do the same thing for the other two basically All right, so I grabbed some paper towel and I'm just gonna use this product and just really saturate the paper towel um, on both sides even. All right, and just kind of make sure that it's all saturated and I'm just gonna go through, see, just kind of really just rub, gently rub down each leaf 
and I'm not the hugest fan of bugs, unfortunately, so let's hope that there's none that freak me out, because that would be funny, I'm sure, <laughs> on video for you and not for me, but so far so good. Ooh. All right, so I'm starting at the base of the plant and then I'm just gonna work my way up. It's kind of hard to not get some soil remnants on it, but I'm just gonna do my best. Just be sure to be gentle. You don't wanna um, break any of the leaves off, especially with winter coming. So this is kind of time consuming, but it's just definitely worth it um, because for the reasons that I've already mentioned and because I just, I have so many plants inside, I can't afford to take that risk um, of getting pests on um, anything that hasn't been outdoors. Um, so I think it's definitely worth the time and energy. So I kind of started at the bottom and then I moved to the top and now I'm just working my way um, down and it's, it's actually not as time consuming as I thought it might maybe. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to keep kind of at this and um, I'll be right back and then I'll show you what I'm doing uh, once I've finished wiping it all down. All right, so I've done a half decent, oh, sorry, I just see some, um, that may have been a mealybug, I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, just, it may be worthwhile just spending a little bit of time kind of looking everything um, over and also maybe just trying to brush any of the stems. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and spray the whole thing. Ooh, there's a major bug there, go away. <laughs> All right, like I said, not the biggest fan of bugs anyways. <laughs> Once you've kind of looked everything over and you know, I'm good. like I said, I'm gonna, sorry, I got totally distracted by this bug and I hope it's gonna leave me alone. But um, I just saw it jump like, you know, six inches, so. God, anyways, um, I'll be spraying this plant over the course of a couple of days. I'm not gonna do that now with, uh, I don't wanna get any sort of weird chemical, um, like any of this weird liquid on um, the camera or on the microphone, obviously. But what I was going to say is um, I purposely didn't water these earlier so that um, it was a lot easier to transplant these. So I have um, some water and I did mix in um, some fertilizer, uh, a liquid uh, bloom fertilizer. Um, I can't remember the exact um, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium ratio, but it is a, one of the bloom ones, so it has more, um, you know, it's not evenly distributed, but I'm just gonna go ahead and water um, this plant just a little bit. Um, and yeah, so that's one down. Oh, sorry, I just put in the water down. That's one down what, two to go, and um, yeah, let me um, get started on the next two, so I'm gonna put this one aside. All right, so I managed to repot all three of the tropical hibiscus, and I've actually moved them into um, the bathroom, and as you can see, I have them here in the, um, in the tub, and this is just going to allow me to really um, give them a good spray down. And then um, I'm not gonna wanna keep them in here um, for very long because hibiscus need a lot of bright direct sunlight. And um, so 
you know, despite this room filling up with a good amount of sunlight, um, I'm only gonna keep them in here maybe overnight and a little bit of the morning tomorrow. Um, give them a good look over, make sure I'm not seeing anything, kind of crawl around, and then maybe move them out of the bathroom but still kind of keep them isolated. Um, this is just a really good sort of setup uh, just to spray them with that botanical um, insecticide so that I'm not making a huge mess. But uh, yeah, this is me kind of winterizing um, these plants. Let me know uh, what you think. Do you do something similar? Do you do something different? Do you have tropical hibiscus? I love these plants so I want them to survive uh, this winter and I think they did great last winter so I have no um, worries that they you know won't do just as great this winter but uh, yeah uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Miss you guys a ton. See ya!